Lord Drive. We just left Mountain Homes, Idaho, and driving on to Boise. And we have had many, many bugs we have killed on our windshield. I know you don't want to talk about death, but sorry, we didn't mean to. They're flying into us. We are not driving into them. I know that's it. So, the scenery, there's mountains over there, so it's not your flatlands, like in the middle of the United States. And lots of trucks. What do you want to say? I drove... This, I don't know, I think about all the geology of how the Snake River Plain was made by super volcano explosions. And, oh. and just before we got to Mountain Homes, we passed Hagerman, Idaho, which is uh, the oldest, or the all modern horse species belong to the genus Equus. The oldest Equus fossil found was in Hagerman, Idaho. And there's a big fossil bed in Hagerman, Idaho. And then the Hagerman horse, Equus simplicicum, has become the Idaho state fossil. Since I studied horse evolution, I know all the horse ancestry. And someday I'll show a chart of the hardness ancestry that I made. So everybody can see it. It'll be a little bit before we come up into uh, Boise, Idaho. The Snake River plain here is keep running off the road. Snake River Plain is pretty flat in between the mountains. There used to be mountains across here all the way along, and, but the super volcano explosions blew all the mountains away. Anyway, that's all I have to say. I don't know. I'm probably boring everybody. Are you done? I don't want to interrupt. No, I'm done. He's done. Okay, everyone, I didn't interrupt. He's done. So now I can say, I was driving for a while, and when I drive, I can't record because that would be dangerous, and Jamie doesn't know how to record and push all the buttons and stuff. And now he's going... 80. Uh, okay, we're going 80. So our motorhome does really well at 80. I think it does better... All right, we're getting, the next six exits are to Boise. So I decided to turn it on for your enjoyment, for your video pleasure. I first want to thank everybody for getting me to 5,000 subscribers. I'm getting over 5,000 now, and that is so lucky, I never thought it would happen. I should have cleared my throat before I started. I'm kind of trying to talk louder because the car is noisy like a truck. I don't know how well you can hear me. All right, and the next thing, when I get back home, I will be having a giveaway to someone who, um, for the 5,000 giveaway. So, and of course the main gift in the giveaway is one of my crocheted coin purses. And the rest of the stuff in the package is probably junk. <laughs> anyway, and <clears throat> no, it won't be junk. You'll get good stuff. I don't know. Anyway, I don't know the people I'm sending it to, so I don't know what they like or what they need or anything. So I'm gonna get a souvenir out here in Oregon on the coast. I'll send something from the coast. This is still the outskirts of Boise on the east side. But just think, Chad Daybell and Lori Daybell, when they were in Rexburg, they had to go to Boise, and this is the road in their prison car, van, or whatever they were trans 
teleported in and they rode this road. And then when they brought her back, she had to go on this road again. And so, we'll start getting into a lot of traffic up here now. I don't know the population of Boise, Idaho. You could look it up if you cared. The gas up there was $3.89 for unleaded. We've stayed in this town before. They built these big cement out stopping, stopping, stopping. The traffic is all at a stop standstill now. Why? I don't know. We always get into a traffic mess here. Because it's, it's rush hour. This is the time we always drive here through here because we start out in the morning and then we get here at this time but it's okay we can drive slower well, you don't have much choice <laughs> <laughs> just maybe there'll be a wreck up here oh and the other thing I need to tell everybody because if you are know me my kids I've even taught them to do it before we leave in the mornings we always pray that we will be safe, the car will run well, and no harm will come to us. So we pray every morning when we travel. Oh. How, this don't hurry it. Because, you know, our rig is harder to stop. Because when we went to Florida, it was a wreck on the side of the road, and then the girl in her car came over and stopped. Stopped. And she pulled in front of us and then put on her brakes real hard. And stopped. And we tried to stop but we had have to have more room to stop. We made some pretty good black marks down the road though. To stop. Ran into the back stop. of her but it didn't even hurt our car but hers was a little Nissan aluminum thing and the trunk kind of went in. Anyway, we didn't hit very hard, but I did have, you know, we're right up here. So when I went, oh, it was, I had PSCD. The I think they day. figured we were less than Post 10 miles an hour when it hit. PTSD, post-traumatic stress syndrome for the next traveling. So, and then Trevor, we were trying to keep up with him and he's so fast driving. So we decided, no, when we're driving together, do not try to keep up with the other person. We just... And then he slammed his brakes on. We just both have our own pace and we'll both get there at the end. That's when that threw you forward when we slammed the And the Trevor. chili, we were eating uh, Wendy's chili. That was when the lady, the other lady. Yeah, it happened twice to us. But we didn't hit Trevor, the back of Trevor. We were only a few inches away when we stopped, though. That was just when I was trying to go to the bathroom and I flew through the, flew all the way back here and flew. Yeah, you kind of crashed up against the dash. Yeah, I right? crashed up against this thing. I hurt my hip bad, but I mean, I thought I hurt my hip bad, but I didn't. It just bruised me, but. I didn't, I thought I broke my artificial hip. It was so scary. So I will not unbuckle and go pee again like that. Not while, while you're driving. No, not while we're traveling, because that could have been bad. I could have broke my teeth. Wait, then I would have got false teeth and they would be perfect. <laughs> He's not saying anything. <laughs> well, I have to watch the traffic, but I think we must have something going off the side of the road. Well, we found out what it was. One a l old couple, they had white hair and they were in a red car. And they were completely stopped in this lane right here. With their blinkers on. I don't know, it looks like they ran out of gas. Their car was too new to be broken, you would think. So... That was, I don't know, she probably called for a, a tow or something, but waiting to have it happen. So now we're back up to speed. Well, we're 55 miles an hour now at least. Yeah. So. Look at, there's an airplane right there. Why is, oh, now we can't see it. There's an airplane right out here in this field. Why is that there? Did it just land there? 
Jamie, don't watch the airplane. I don't know, but this guy is slamming his brake on. Because he was looking at the airplane too. That's. I know, but look, he's got a mile in front of him. What's he stopping? I don't know. He's a government. Is it a government license? I don't know. He's, here's an airplane coming in. Is that an airport over there? We don't know, but. Just, <sighs> this guy just decided to try to stop him in the middle of the road too. Must be an airport over there, because look at that airplane coming in. Our windshield's so dirty. Now we're getting back down to stop again. It's going so slow. That's an airport, it has to be. So that's the exit for the city centers in three miles still. Boise's quite a sprawled out place. Yeah, doesn't have high rise as much, but it's... No, but it's sprawled. It takes up quite a bit of area. Oh, yep. There is a wreck right over here, too. Oh, There's you didn't get to see right it. right up here. Yeah. Here's another cop over here. I don't know what they're doing. They're doing it's a bad time to be doing what they're doing if they're just doing something on their... There were three cops you know, there. This, this is rush hour. It's always... Between the construction and rush hour and everything else, it's bad here. But it's four lanes, so... It's doing good. We're doing good now. Summertime, we always stayed there so the kids could swim. It was very nice. We had very good luck there. And we have a Walmart right over here. You're interrupting me. And they Sorry. did not they did not have crime in this town like they do in some of those Sixes motels when you watch cops and the prostitutes hang around the Sixes motel. They don't do that here. But it's not six dollars. It used to be, you know, those were six as motel because it was six dollars a night. So this is Ontario. And over here they have all the things. A and W, Dairy Queen, Home well, Depot. This Carl's is only Jr. the north edge of the town. 
yeah, off the freeway. Over here we have Walgreens, Marshalls. I can't see everything, but so they used to have a Denny's to breakfast. Oh yeah, there it is. DQ, Dairy Queen, right here. Yeah, they're, they're famous for their hamburgers. Never had a hamburger at Dairy Queen. I'm not even there. We don't eat at fancy restaurants, but we could just stay in our RV and eat what we have here. But we might splurge. The Denny's restaurant there we could eat. I don't want to eat Denny's. So there's. It's a cute little town. It's much better than our town. We have nothing. We don't eat at Burger King because that's the only thing we have in our town is Burger King. So, here it is. We haven't decided. We're going to find out how far. It's 618, but we set the clocks. Which way is it? We gain an hour. It's 518. So in Oregon it's 518, but here it's 618. Our time, so we gain an hour. No, we lose an hour. We're gonna go into Walmart. We gain an hour. It's an hour earlier than it is right now, but we're gonna go into Walmart. If I buy a bunch of stuff, I could do a Walmart haul instead of a Timu haul. That'll be so fun. I know I need to buy a beading needle, but I don't have a list of. Usually I have a big old list of stuff to get it. Tell them last time we were here, we stayed overnight here in the swamp. Yeah, we slept right over here in the parking lot. It was fine. Nobody bothered, bothered us. It was just cold, quiet. I wonder, are Walmarts open all night? Remember they used to be open all night. I don't think they do that anymore. I don't know where we're going. Well, you were supposed to turn the other way. Do you ever do that when someone else is driving and you're getting ready to hang the left and they turn a right and then they set you off balance because you just thought for sure they were going right and you turn left. He doesn't even know where he's turning. Well, those lines are short and then we have to come up to this higher road to get on these longer lines here. So I was following the other cars. That's but we have a, we get to park wheelchair because, you know, we're crippled. All right. That's all. Goodbye. He's taking his pills. I didn't push record. We were talking a minute there that you didn't get recorded. He's taking his nightly pills, just like at home. We ate our dinner and we got all cozy. I'm in my bed already. He's gonna get in his but he said we have plenty of time this is thursday night right yep thursday night okay he has a whole handful show him your handful of drugs well i don't have his um, i already took those how many is there count them one two three four five six seven. i asked the doctor what would happen if he just didn't take any of his pills and he stopped taking them because i want to know what would happen Guess what the doctor said? Don't do it. <laughs> and here I have the, our little iPad up here. It was my granddaughter's high school iPad that she got when she graduated and she was selling it for $50. So I bought it and I've downloaded a ton of movies from prime time. And so as long as my battery's good, We'll watch movies. I got some for Jamie too. Some movies he would like, like Alaska movies and documentaries. Cause I don't want him to be bored. He hates chick flicks. He hates Lifetime Hallmark movies. Do you like them? Oh, um, sometimes, but not usually. And we bought our dinner and went to Walmart. I didn't do a haul because I didn't buy that much stuff. I bought some tomatoes and avocados i'll just tell you what i bought some candy bar we bought these because we quite are get satisfied where's mine my candy bar is lost with the almonds in it i didn't take those it was right oh here. i put it in my pocket i mean my pouch over here and then 
Uh, what else? I bought needles to bead by beading needles because I couldn't find them. At, I didn't want to find them at home. I just bought new ones. And glue. We bought glue in case we needed on the trip. Well, we were probably out of it. He said his glue, the E6000, is all dried up inside. It isn't dried up. It just keeps plugging up in the opening. So I have to dig it off. Drill out the opening every time I use it. <laughs> Do you really get a drill and drill it? I just use my teeth and bite it off. It's not on the outside. It's all the way down the oh, tube the Well, why didn't you put the lid on good? I did because I could, but it's all gummed up too. And it oozed out. And it, I know you guys all know what we're talking about with the glue. The tip of the glue. And it gets all oozing out while you're trying to find the lid to put on there. And then it dries around there. And then it's a big old gobber. And... I just use my teeth to peel it off and then a pin to stick it down in there. But he doesn't have the same tools as I do. Mine succumbed up a pin wouldn't work. I had to hammer a nail in. Oh my. Well, I use mine more often, I think. I was gonna use a little long, narrow screw, but it wouldn't go through the opening, so I had to use the nail. You hammered it? Uh, yeah, it broke through with the plug, and then I used the two drops, and then I had to put it away again. What about your candy bar is going to be gone? What are you going to do then? Tell them what you like with your candy bar. Milk. I, I drink milk with everything, though. He hasn't been weaned. It probably makes your COPD worse. What if they told you you cannot drink milk? It makes your COPD worse. What would you tell them? I... I don't know about COPD, but I was watching the YouTube videos on the gout. Show since, your finger, your gout finger. Since I've got this big lump here and then it's full bend up. Bend it. Show how much you can bend it. Well, See, it's, it's, he can't. He was Saturday. He couldn't bend I it. I couldn't bend it, but it, it'll bend now. He's taking but they said the that steroid. Milk, they said that you got to drink a lot of water, but they also said drink milk when you have gout. Oh, you're happy. So, that's probably why I don't have problems with gout as much because I drink so much. Would milk. you rather have gout in your finger or your toes? I'd rather not have it at all. No, if you had to choose, would you want it in your finger or your toes? It sucks wherever you have it. But you have to choose one. Which would you want it? Well, if it's in your toe, if it's just on your big toe. Yeah. And you can kind of walk on the side of your foot and still keep walking. Have you practiced? But when this finger was all swollen up, it's starting to swell these up. Yeah. And then I couldn't hardly move, and then it's real hard to do anything without your Oh, hand. so you wish it was on your left hand if you get well, gout. if it was on your left hand, it wouldn't. I'm so right-handed. But right my brother-in-law got it in his foot. He couldn't even walk because the toe, it hurt so bad. They say it's like childbirth. Right. I don't think your finger hurt like childbirth. What do you think? I don't know, but I've had some pain in my life that was worse than childbirth. You wouldn't know you never had childbirth for hours on end. He did, he fell and everything. We're not gonna talk about your falling and your, look, I forgot my wedding ring. I'm, I... I'm single on the trip. 